Happy weekend, everyone. Hope all is well with you and yours. Wanted to share a positive story on this weekend, but I want to preface it first by saying that I know stories like this exist all across our country, all across our province, and in every one of our communities. I just think it's time we start sharing those stories and start celebrating those stories because there's enough going on in the world that makes us lose a little bit of faith in humanity sometimes. And I think it's stories like this, sharing enough of them, we can maybe turn the tide, turn the momentum around, and maybe we can start to see some of the good that's happening in our society. Let's go to Airdrie. Cooper's Crossing School is brand new, K-3 school that opened in September. I'm a little biased when I tell this story because my wonderful girlfriend teaches there. She made me aware of this story. A few weeks ago, uh, the staff and students started collecting food items for their local food bank, and not in the traditional form where a parent will give a kid a food item and then they put it onto a pile and then that pile eventually gets donated and everybody feels good for a while. What they decided to do was pit all the classes against each other, and the winning classroom would get a chance to play the teachers in a special floor hockey game that happened this past Thursday. I was lucky enough to be a part of the event as the announcer, and it was a phenomenal event in terms of not just getting to celebrate the class, but also celebrate the school, and all the kids showed up. They were loud for that hour to finish off the day. Just an amazing event, but what was even more amazing to me was hearing some of the stories about what these kids were doing just to get that final food item. I mean, kids were going into their own allowances. They were going into their own piggy banks. They were doing everything, trying to convince mom and dad to get that one more item. And this is yet again, kindergarten to grade three students who don't necessarily understand the full scope of what they're doing, how they're helping their community and yet they are doing everything they possibly can. And so a kudos to the staff and the teachers for giving these kids an opportunity to not only be good students, but good future residents of their community and good citizens. And so a tip of the hat goes to the students, staff, and uh, parents at Cooper's Crossing School in Airdrie. Like I said, I know there are a ton of stories out there just like this one, and I think we just need to start celebrating them. I think we need to start sharing them, and I think we can start turning the tide and show that this world is a pretty good place to live in. Although there are negative sides of it, there's also a lot of positives. And as I've always said, live to love and love to live. Hope you guys have a great weekend. We'll talk to you all soon.